Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God. Gently yet powerfully you guide all creation in the fulfillment of its destiny. Today we celebrate the wonders you have worked in the lives of the men of the class of 2008. May their lives continue to bear your image and likeness in this world. May they be a sign of the love you have for all of your creation through lives lived in service to others. May they remain strongly committed to their faith so that they may sacramentalize the world in which they are immersed. May Mary help of Christians be their mother and solace at all times. And may their patron, St. John Bosco, be a ready source of inspiration to guide them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. John Bosco, Pray for us. Mary, help of Christians, Pray for us. in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll attend the University of Notre Dame in the fall. Good morning, Mr. Stanzak, Father Lou, faculty, family, friends, and fellow graduates. When I was asked to do the salutatory speech just a few days ago, I panicked. How could I be asked to create a speech that had to be powerful, inspirational, and most importantly, memorable in just a few days? I pondered what I could possibly say to make an impact on such a large audience, so much so that it would stay with me. After a short time, I realized that my speech didn't even need to be memorable. I mean, how many people can say that they remember a salutatory or valedictory speech from theirs or any graduation? Instead, it was the experiences and lessons that I learned here at the prep in the last four years that were what made being a part of the class of 2008 so memorable, and that no speech could add to or diminish that. 1950, which incidentally was 100 years after the birth of St. John Bosco. When the prep was founded, John Bosco was not yet a saint. He was beatified on June 2nd, 1929, and canonized on April 1st, 1934, by Pope Pius XI. April 1st of that year was Easter Sunday, a very rare honor. The President of the United States in 1915 was the... We just went through these same events for our eighth grade graduations. However, the past four years have changed our lives more than we could have ever imagined as we entered our first year at Bosco, not knowing what to expect. There were so many questions we were asking ourselves as we walked around the halls with the seemingly monstrous upperclassmen. What is it like going to a high school with no girls? Now, as we walk around the halls as Prior to the awarding of diplomas, the graduates will be presented to the principal for validation. Will the members of the class of 2008 please stand? Mr. Stanzai, after having satisfactorily completed four years of academic studies as prescribed by the State Department of Education and in accordance with the accreditation of our educational program by the Middle States Association of Colleges and Schools, I refer that these candidates have fulfilled all requirements as members of the class of 2008. It is with great honor that I present these young men for your validation and their performance. Don Bosco Preparatory High School has received approval and accreditation of our educational program from the Middle States Association of Colleges and Schools. We are empowered to issue diplomas to our students who have satisfactorily completed a course of studies prescribed by our charter according to the standards maintained by the state of New Jersey. Acting in the name of the administration and faculty of Don Bosco Prep and by the authority given to me by the state of New Jersey and the Archdiocese of Newark, I am honored to declare you, the members of the class of 2008, graduates of Don Bosco Prep High School. Timothy Emmanuel Aaron, 
Michael Connor Atkinson, Christopher Thomas Balash, Thomas Leonard Battaglia, Tony Joseph Battaglia. Richard John Dugan. <laughs> Travis Craig Duran. Blake Ryan DeRocher. Jeffrey Michael DeRocher. Yatsin Ilabre. Joshua James Enriquez. Ryan Robert Esposito. Jacob Marge Farah, Nicholas Evan Feldman, Michael James Fellner, Kevin Timothy Ferber, Matthew Richard Fernandez, Stephen Thomas Flanagan, Anthony Michael Franco, Daniel John Friedman, Andre Justin Freeman. Daniel Thomas Coley. Joshua Joseph Kudre. Conrad Julian Kozlowski. Richard Michael Kurtz Jr. Sean P. LaFlam. Ryan Robert Lamb. Nicholas Mark Lennon, Nicholas Francis List, Alessandro Vito Lebo, Anthony Joseph LaRusso, Christopher Anthony Longobardo, Brandon Charles Marcella, Walter Herdren Martin, Frederick Najem Maxine. John Peter May. Get it? What? Why did everyone laugh? Ryan Patrick McNamara. <laughs> Sean Joseph McNamara. Can get a diploma, right? Daniel George McPherson. <laughs> Kevin Millack. Giorgio Ricardo Milligan. Nicholas Anthony Mistretta. Thomas Edward Monahan. Patrick James Moore. Miguel Ramirez Morlata. Robert Joseph Moreira. Raymond J. Morin. Zachary Tempe Morrissey. Andrew Anthony Moscardelli. Christopher Alexander Valdivia. Christopher F. Verano, Michael Vargas, Michael Eugene Veda, Andrew Albert Villaforte, Gabi Singh Walia, Ryan Patrick Walsh, Timothy Kiernan Walsh, Antoine Webb, Stephen Patrick Wexler, Christopher Angelo Whitmore, Kurt Owen Williams, Raymond William Wong, Evan Juan Hederich, Stephen Andrew Weika, Lenny Scott Young, Julius Edward Zeitlinger, John Joseph Zonneveld.
Many students have done outstanding work in specific areas of study during their time at Don Bosco Prep and been judged worthy of special recognition. These awards of excellence are presented by the administration and faculty the win. The gold medal for excellence in social studies is awarded to Michael Cellini. The gold medal for excellence in art is awarded to Brendan Quirk. The Gold Medal for Excellence in Music is awarded to Brandon Marcella. The Gold Medal for Excellence in Computer Science is awarded to Alexander Hieronymi. The Gold Medal for Excellence in Physical Education is awarded to Stephen Wexler. Medal for General Excellence is awarded to Michael Cellini. The major of the Salesians of St. John Bosco are the Pastor Chavez. Those of you who were here will remember we had that ceremony right here in this parking lot. It was 90 degrees warmer and 65 people passed out, and we have the ambulances all over the place. But Father Chavez uh, has made a plea for all Salesian schools throughout the world, that we be and begin to take better care of the environment in which we live. Father Chavez has been asking us worldwide to recognize those. Members of the class of 2008 will follow the faculty, starting with those in the first row on my right. The faculty in the line to congratulate the graduates. Graduates are reminded at some point that they need to make their way to the cafeteria courtyard to receive their personal congratulations and some important documents for Mr. Stanzak. Here at Don Bosco, we begin all things and end all things in prayer, and thus, uh, for our benediction, I call upon Director President Paolo Malinelli. Some of you must be living right. Look at the day we got for this, with the cloud over the sun and everything. It's nice to be here on this beautiful day. And let us ask for God's special blessing upon all of our graduates and all of us. Dear Lord, as I look toward the future, bright hope conducts this prayer. For I know that you have plans for these men who were wrought with divine care. Holy Spirit, lead them. Let them run at your command. Yet be still and know that you are God when trouble is close at hand. Let your word be a lamp to guide them, a solid place to set their feet, and a compass when they stray. May they live their lives to praise you, not for fortune nor for fame. May everything they say and do bring glory to your name. May their eyes stay fixed upon you as they seek the way that's pure, tasting your love and goodness, sleeping and rising secure. Planted by your living streams, let them delight in all your ways, hidden by your sheltering wings with new mercy for each day. Even in a dangerous land when storms threaten to destroy, at the cross, let them stand upon the rock, their strength, their hope, and their joy. Dear Lord, show them your favor, and at all times keep them blessed. May your face ever shine upon them with peace and perfect rest.